Yeah, but I think what Africans need to learn is uh, one African country that has put itself in a very good negotiating position, even with the world powers, is South Africa. South Africa, uh, you cannot bully them. You cannot bully them. Mm. South Africa, I think on the geopolitics part, they have understood and they have got it because the original thinking was, oh, let me pick a side. But South Africa was like, no, you can't tell us, you know, like what side to pick or what side um, not to pick. Uh, and I think now they're in a position where even if the U.S. wants something, they have to go talk to them. Because it's kind of like, okay, if you come with arrogance, we're not going to do, you know, like what you want. We're going to proceed with X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, and it may hurt a few trade deals here and there. But, but I think care. geopolitically in the long run, and that's why they have the guts to defy, you know, the U.S. and go to the uh, International Court of Justice. Yes. And defend Palestine. Uh, and file a case. And file a case. And win. Against Israel. And win. The preliminary ruling. The, the, the preliminary ruling. ruling well, ideally. ideally yeah. Well, they, they, they got a few things, yeah. Uh, uh, at yeah. least, so at it's, least it's, even it's, just it's, that. It's, it's going to take a while. Mm. It's going to take a while, you know, but, uh, but yeah. Ah, yeah, Atishon King was uh, was banned for life by me. I, I did not even I did know, not that. know that. Yeah, no wonder I've, I've not seen him in a long time. Allah, yeah. Washeka, please do tell, do, yeah. do share. Yeah, so 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 I think you know, like this is where we have to be careful. Uh, you may be in a box without knowing. Well, just a money when someone did not know how to read, they knew that I don't know how to read, mm. and I need to get someone to read for me, or I need to get to go somewhere where I'll get this information. But the the worst thing about today is that uh, there are people who are in that bubble and they totally don't know that they're inside a bubble. Mm. You know, they think because, oh, I go through my timeline, I get notifications. Uh, those notifications are algorithms. You know, you have to go seek. And I always tell people, try to go to the original source. If there's a document or like Corona Kama, Kama e White House, there's a lot of media reporting on it. You can go to see originally what White House has said. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure also State House has a statement that they issued on this and they have their own goals. Then once you're armed with that, then you can go and navigate the different sources because they sometimes do analysis. There's still a lot of value, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, I mean, I know people say dismiss mainstream media. I honestly think there's still a lot of value in mainstream yeah, media, is. especially in the spaces where you cannot go. Because there's this thing that people like saying, oh, I researched for myself. There's certain research that you cannot do for yourself. My there's friend, certain things that you cannot do for those yourself. Are the, so there are some of those people who research that, who end up finding that JFK is still alive. Now, when I end up Texas, Kumsalimia. Kums they did their own research. Well, if I knew your research, I'm the guy who was uh, the guy the guy who drove from wherever he was. Yeah. Because there was this story of Akina Hillary Clinton and doing what? Pedophiles. Pedophiles and drinking yeah. blood of what toys. When I could a pizza place in in DC. Oh yeah, those. Yeah, uh, I remember uh, those yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no you can convince them at all. But now back to the diaspora. Yes. How, how do we get? How how first of all do we get do we get to get to the dinner? In the way she wants to go to the dinner. How do we get her to go there? But generally speaking, a brown envelope. How how do we how do we benefit? As, how, as, how can we as diasporans or as, as Kenyans? As diasporans, you know, like as um as Kenyans, because you know, we, we sometimes don't realize, but we occupy a very special place, you know, like within the Kenyan context. Like uh like all these leaders who are going to be coming from Kenya, like we will get access to them. Someone in Kenya does not have access to those leaders. Yeah. You know, we could probably, if, 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 if we pull some strings and, uh, you know, and people don't, we could probably get uh, President Ruto in this studio. You know, we would like to have him in this studio. You know, one of the ways, you know, to be able to really have that voice the first and the most initial and crucial step happened when we were granted the right to vote. Is that simple? 
we had been talking about oh we need we want to vote we want to vote we want to vote we were granted dc how many people voted 313 Oof. new york let's not even go there okay we started complaining we were granted oh why can't they travel how about you first register come out right even if they gave us two weeks fine now but the, but you have been given the chance yeah you have been given the opportunity because in 2027 we will vote how many people are going to because you can follow because the more people that are registered to vote the more that people vote the more you have a voice is that simple even yeah. here and mm -hmm. akina roland martin they're always telling people when i'm young i say you know because like now some of these cases that are especially local elections like you know like the one in, in texas about the career the, the crown act where the Ooh. kijana was told yeah, about yeah, yeah. dreads yeah the dreadlocks were too long yes they are too long yeah local if if even that judge that passed that eh, anyone or even the city can those all those people your local elections matter. Those are th that is where laws are are passed. So, Meskia, is it Alabama or uh, Louisiana? Yeah. Frozen embryos, eggs. What have they been? What have they? <laughs> what have they been declared? <laughs> wow, you know, like this. I, I, you know, I don't even know. You know, like so, what's happening. So the only way I yeah. think the first and most crucial way we, we can even send th three trillion. Chances are even diaspora can decide, you know what, we're going to raise enough funds to wipe out the debt. You know, maybe two trillion, three trillion or whatever. Uh, maybe, maybe. But what was missing was the right, the, the ability to vote. Now we can vote as diaspora. In the U.S., you can vote. So, yeah, so we, so we can Let vote. us start there. Yeah, so we can, so that's a good starting point. Yes, but it then, is. Now, now with this trip, for example, uh, I can see, for example, um, Alabama, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sheke. Yeah, so I can see, uh, let me see. Um, hmm, a lot of comments were coming in here. Well, Sheke is asking, what does this trip do to our economy and ability to earn foreign exchange? Kenya doing well translates to us diasporans needing to feed less mouths in Kenya. Now, uh, I mean, I think Kenya, we have like systems broken at so many, at so many levels. You know, because And not to put it in a bad way, I don't think most people have enough, in, you know, like um, information to know how we can benefit from this. The politicians know what they want to benefit. They know. They know exactly what they want to benefit. Let me tell you. Yeah. They, those guys. They are very specific. Very. They know. And they're very strategic on, 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 on what they're looking for. Yes. But now, you know, like when, uh, because people are tired of these announcements. You know, like that keep coming that we're gonna do this and we're go and, and on the ground people are not feeling it. There has to be a translation of how this relationship, you know, like benefits us. Even if it's indirectly, there has to be a translation of it, which there seems to be none. Uh people do you, don't do you, understand. Are you, bro, are you gonna expect from and, the and current administration? Yeah. And anything people, more. And people in the diaspora, unfortunately, people get caught up in the glitz glamour and selfies oh ho, ho. i'm in the white house i took a picture with i don't know who in the white house so the problem the you, problem you, of that and then when you when you try to bring in issues like like i did when uhuru was here in the first term and then people were telling were asking me why you're being negative that was at the marriott hotel mm -hmm. you know when i stood up to Ilea ask some virginia. question Ilea virginia yeah. no no wait uh -uh. No, it was in Virginia. No, I think it, it was in it, DC. Yeah, DC. It was Wadman Park the, in DC. The one we were fed. Yes, it was Wadman Park. I don't know whether I can't even remember <laughs> whether we were there's fed. There's one we were fed when he came with business leaders from Kenya and all that. That, that was during Chris, the first time. In a Chris Kirubi. That was that. during the first time. Yes. He came multiple times. I and can't that was just which one before was. the Nini, the Obama's Nini. No, 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 no. Before, before Obama's inauguration, Kibaki was no, still no, no. president. No, no, no. It was before Obama's uh, Africa summit. It, it was probably before it was Obama's, just yes. before the Africa summit. It was summit. before the Africa summit. So yes. probably it's that one, yeah. So you know when you stand up to ask questions, the people who came and uh, and went and got matching outfits to come 
to see the president you they, mean they, you they are caught up they are caught up in seeing those pictures then we lose the plot yeah we, we totally lose the plot i was i was listening to you don't even have to go far i was listening to the former governor of uh, of uh, uh, i think it was nyandaro he was uh, on uh, news news gang mm-hmm. with akina uh, uh, linus and he was saying so you're saying something that was very interesting governors mumepewa jukumu your responsibility you're the prefect you have the sole uh, 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 the sole mandate. mandate to run your county constitutionally you are the the, the national government is obligated to fund so for every shilling that is collected mm-hmm. 15 cents goes to is supposed to go to the counties that's part the law constitution definition that's what you were saying yeah but even if it is even if it is mandatory he doesn't see and he's, he's always questioning why the governors are being subservient or wanaenda they're, they're going to bow down and acquiesce to the national government aka to the to the executive right when in in essence they are supposed to be getting it's mandatory it's not that it's uh um it's like how we go to get our, our driving license but the hunger to get something that we yeah, should be getting that you're entitled to yes yeah. and that 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 is that is that is a mentality that needs to be broken a- and even and now the executive even starts telling you if you guys behave well we're going to give you more exactly money. and yeah. that's exactly what's happening because na- it's 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 just the other day uyu waikulu wa- was saying that they are having a hard time they are they are realizing that the executive at some point is handicapping the the counties 